What's up guys, my name is Jess, we're gonna go over all of the spheres in the game as of now. There are a total of 7 of them. They all increase in their own rarity, and depending on the machinery that you use will dictate what kind of balls you're able to make. Now, let's get started. The Palace Spheres. Um, they are used, or they're made from the primitive workbench level 1 in the tech tree. In the bottom right corner you're gonna see the level, and then that number will indicate what level in the tech tree you'll need. So, these are the cheapest spheres to make. Only thing is that they have the lowest capture rate when you progress to the ender ga or later games of the later levels of the game. Okay, mega spheres. The green spheres. These are used from the sphere workbench. Okay, they're in the pal tree in the building section. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now these, uh, the mega sphere and the next level both share the assembly machinery right here. Giga spheres. Now these use up ingots. So, a little bit different from the previous one, no big deal though. Okay, right here. Boom. Gigaspheres. Yep, so, you don't need to make two of them. The only reason why you should ever make two of them is if you want to make double the amount. Next is the hyperspheres. Now, these use up cement and ingots, okay? So, we're getting into the higher levels, yep. This is uh, assembled through the sphere assembly line. Now, please note that this does require electricity, so you're gonna need an electric power to power it up. Um, but yeah, so we are progressively going up. And as you, if you haven't noticed, these um, these spheres can all be made in in the next assembly. If you get that, I don't know if that makes sense. Now, this is the ultra spheres. Legend Spheres and the Ultimate Spheres, they all are comprised from the Assembly Line number 2. Um, they also... Legendary and Ultimate both share the same value in terms of gold, but not the same value in terms of capture rate, so keep that in mind. But um, yeah, things to really note is just the materials, that's really all it is. Ultimate Spheres, these are the highest capture rate, but they take up the most amounts of materials and it's kind of annoying getting in them all until you have a proper farm for them so yeah we're gonna do a recap pretty soon and it's gonna be pretty easy to understand i hope that this video so far has been easy to understand i know i've been going through it kind of fast but i don't want to babble through or ramble and whatnot so let's go through the recap here we go so as you can see on the signs we got primitive bench boom with the blue spheres we got sphere work bench boom with the green spheres aka mega spheres uh, spear workbench again with the Giga Spheres, the yellow ones. Now this is new Sphere Assembly Line number one. Yep, Hyper Spheres. Okay, here we go. Sphere Assembly Line number two for the Ultra Spheres. That's right. We are at the maxed assembly right now. Sphere Assembly Line number two again for the Legendary Spheres. Mm-hmm. Moving on. And last but not least, Sphere Assembly Line number two for the Ultimate Spheres. Do not get these confused with Ultra Spheres. All right, that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Peace.